Hello everyone. Welcome to another trip to the bins. We are at the Goodwill outlet today, like always, my favorite place. And I'm going to take you along with me to find things to sell online for profit. I've got my Starbies, like always. Um, and we're going to head inside. If you're new here, I am a full-time reseller. I sell on eBay and Poshmark and I find all of my things at the bins. Um, well, I mean, probably like 85% of my things at the bins. So I take you along with me. I record as much as I can in there because sometimes it is so chaotic. Um, but then at the end of the video, I'm going to show you a haul of everything that I picked up during this trip. I'm usually here for about four hours, sometimes more if I'm like either A, not finding anything or B, I'm finding a lot of good things. So let's head in let's see what we can find today i'm so excited this cracks me up every time i'm here i see this little guy maybe it's my good luck charm all right look at the beautiful sun we're heading in so far okay i have been having to dig through a bunch of trash it feels like to find anything a lot of this stuff i have to look up but this is a cute vintage cat sweater. How cute. Um, yeah, a few good things. But there are only a few clothing bins today. Like the past few weeks have been so weird. So this whole middle area used to be clothing and hard goods. And now it's just all hard goods right here. And then the side bins are the only clothing bins. It's been like this like the past couple weeks. So I don't know what's going on. But I hope it goes back to normal. <laughs> All right, I spent $56. I got, what, 32 pounds. It was definitely a weird day, weird Ben's day, but I did manage to find some good stuff. I had to dabble in things that I don't normally pick up, but I think it will be worth it if I can find them. <laughs> Here they are. Okay, I found some vintage Sega games, I'm guessing. I think I found like five of them, but i um, pretty excited about these. Okay, the sun is just hitting like perfectly right there, so it's making this video show up super weird. Um, there I am. Anyways, today, the past couple times I've been to the bins have been so weird, like I talked about earlier, with them not doing clothing rotations. I don't know what is going on, so if anybody else um, is from Vancouver and knows what's going on, please fill me in, because they used to do, like, six, what is it, six blue bins of new clothing rotations with every single row, and now it's like only the outside perimeter. It's crazy. I was waiting around so many times just waiting for clothes to come out. <sighs> it is nice to dabble in other things. So finding those video games was really cool. I found some books, some bags. Um, so it is kind of like broadening my scope a little bit, but man, I don't even, there was barely any clothes and I feel like all the clothes were just trash. You know what I mean? Like I really had to dig and really had to look and anyways, I will still do a haul because I did find some good things, some new brands that I think you guys maybe don't know about that you should be on the lookout for. Um, yeah, it was still, it was still a successful trip. I only spent $54 and I should profit a ton off of what I got. I'm so excited to look up those video games more because I looked up, I just scanned the back of like one of them and it was selling for like 150 from what I saw. I could totally be wrong, but I've never sold anything like that before. So we will see how those, those do. But anyways, I'm starving. It's four o'clock and I've been here since like 930 and I don't know how I'm still functioning as a person. So I'm going to go get some food and go home and then um, I will show you guys the haul, everything I got. Stay tuned. Hello, hello. Welcome to the kind of small but kind of mighty haul to this trip. This was a very strange bins day, like I said previously. Um, 
my bins have been doing some really weird things lately and I feel like things are, I don't know, I just feel like they're trying new things. Things are changing, something's going on, something's fishy. So I am going to see how it goes, you know, next time I go to the bins to kind of see if things are different or if things are continuing to move in that direction. But I don't know, it just seems like maybe they're a little bit understaffed. Um, less rotations, less clothing, um, cutting rotations, like done with rotations at like three o'clock. Like that's so weird. So I don't know. It's weird, weird, so weird. <laughs> but we are going to jump into this haul. I found a few pretty good things, a few things to be on the lookout for, new to me brands that, like I said, I was kind of going outside of my realm to find things that would sell. So, oh man, I have to grab those video games to show you guys. Okay, anyways, so we're gonna start with some bags. First up is this messenger bag. This is from the brand Think Tank. Let's see if I can show you guys. It is a giant messenger camera bag and um, you know, definitely something that I had to look up because I had no idea, but it is in near perfect condition. So that's why I decided to look into it and I'm glad that I did. This thing retails for like $175. Selfie rate on this brand is very good and I have mine up for $79.99 with one watcher already. I just posted it last night. So I think this will go fairly quickly and it's definitely something I will be on the lookout for in the future. Um, yeah, never heard of that brand before. Always look things up. I always, I'm just a curious person in general and especially at the bins when I don't know what something is. I'm going to look it up. I feel like I should have set myself up for, oh gosh, I am a mess. It's been quite the week, quite the week. <laughs> it's now Thanksgiving break. Um, I picked up my daughter from school on Wednesday, yesterday, um, and her teacher said, have a great Thanksgiving break. And I was like, wait, what? It's already Thanksgiving, what's going on? Um, I've just been, my head has been elsewhere. Um, anyways, next is this little leather bucket bag. I knew that this was really well made. There are no tags in it whatsoever, but at the very, very bottom, there is a tiny little material tag and it has 66170, which is the anthro or urban um, RN number. So with that, I knew I was gonna pick it up. It does have a few spots on the leather. You can kind of see, yeah. Um, but otherwise it's a very sturdy leather bag. I only have it up for 20 because it is a BDG bag. That's the brand. So they don't necessarily sell, you know, it's not going to fly off the shelf. So I had to price it low to get it to move. And yeah, I was able to find a stock photo, so that should help, but definitely worth saving. You know, it's hundred percent leather. So I'm sorry, I feel so um, unorganized for some reason. <laughs> okay, I found one pair of shoes. These are a pair of Twisted X little leather moccasin sneaker types of things. This brand has a following and a pretty good sell-through rate. This is like a tooled leather, so I thought that was really pretty. They do have some wear, which I will note, but they are still in a condition that is wearable and has quite a bit of life left. I haven't ran comps on these yet. I haven't listed them, so I have no idea what they are gonna go for, but I would say about 30, maybe 40, just because of this tooling. I found a hat, which this is a great find. This is a true religion not vintage or anything um but this is a super sought after style it's called the buddha patch i guess with the distressing it's a little more sought after these are selling for like 80 dollars pre-owned on ebay and those are the ones that are sold the ones that are listed now people have up for like 150 i have no idea what's going on with this hat but <laughs> I got this and I'm super excited about it. I have mine up for 
and sell-through rate on that style is really good so I think that that will sell fairly quickly it already has two watchers and I just listed it last night next is a new to me brand Drizzabone Australia this just felt so like high quality it's a waxed leather I knew that it was some sort of like men's workwear something something and I, I've never heard of this brand so I put it in my cart and looked it up and it retails for like $250 so um resale there aren't a ton in the U.S. this is an Australia brand so a lot of them are in you know a lot of the listings are from Australia um so I'm thinking that with me being here in the U.S. that this will sell um, hopefully a little bit quicker. Um, I'm not expecting it to sell super fast, but definitely something worth picking up in my eyes because it is very well made, something that people are looking for and is a little bit harder to get here in the U.S. Um, compared to, you know, Australia. But I think it has a couple of watchers on it already, so that's pretty cool. Next is this Free People super cute zip up sweater it's very like 70s retro it's a boxy fit it's a size large so great free people size I have mine up for 50 and this one has a, a few watchers as well already next is wooden ships which eh, I'm kind of testing the waters with this brand I have sold a sweater um, that said, oh my gosh, they have a bunch that are like super beachy and they say maybe like beach on them. Those ones I feel like do sell a lot quicker um, if they have some sort of saying on them. But the plain ones, I'm not too sure how long this will take to sell. I have mine up for 25. This is a medium large and it does have kind of a little bit of a bell like flared sleeve, very boxy loose open knit very cute this was a random pickup <laughs> it's vintage made in china it's just this cute little embroidered top i could not leave it it's all hand stitched hand embroidered and it even has it on the little shoulders it's so cute um it does have a brand but they're this is irrelevant it's lily and it's china made in china um size 38 i'm guesstimating that it's a small maybe a little bit oversized small but i have mine up for 30. i will probably get like 20 for that next we've got an eileen this is just a t-shirt dress black kind of um, what's that called? Oh my gosh. Wow, I'm drawing a blank. I cannot think of it. Oh my gosh, I can't think of it. <laughs> Space die? Is that right? I don't know. Um, this is a size medium. I have this one up for $29.99 because it's Eileen. This is a super cute, like little black dress, perfect for summer. Love Eileen. This is a Chico's Travelers with a super cute kind of Asian inspired print to it. I love a little slinky top. This is a size two, so a large. This one I have up for $24.99. Next is Trip NYC. This is a newer sold at Hot Topic style. But the older Trip NYCs for sure are um, something you need to be looking for whenever you go thrifting. I recently sold a super mini, like, <laughs> what was it? It's just a very short skirt, plaid skirt, very Y2K. That one sold for like 120 in like 24 hours. So, and that was a Ben's find. Um, this one I have up for 30 that has a few watchers as well. We've got Bella Doll. What size? Size small. This is a super cute kind of popover plaid. 
I love the, it has like a crinkly arm. Very cute. This one I have up for 20, I believe. We've got Everlane. Not necessarily my favorite brand to pick up, but like I said, this day was a little bit of a struggle. This I have up for $19.99. It's a size zero. Um, this is a super cute top. I don't understand how their stuff doesn't sell for more, but buying it for a dollar, selling it for 20, that is okay with me. Especially when you're like scrounging for stuff. <laughs> this is a Chico's very funky like art to wear jacket it has embroidery patches it's so cool there's definitely a following of this kind of chicos um so that's great because i find it quite often oh yeah here's the other one i found <laughs> speaking of these are just so funky look at this somebody is gonna rock this some art teacher. I love it so much. So um, I have both of these up for $29.99. I know I'm not going to get a ton, but Chico's does sell for me. So I will continue to get it at the bins. This is a vintage baby fat, <laughs> size large, just a tie-dye kind of, um, what would this be? A corset kind of top has a zipper back. This is vintage, like true Y2K. Let me see. Made in the USA, paper tag, the whole shabam. <laughs> um, I have this up for 30. Uh, the one thing I can say with baby fat, I just learned this while I was running comps on this tank top. Be on the lookout for those. I know you know them if you grew up in the Y2K era. They are the fur hoods with the baby fat logo on the back, the women's puff jackets. Those ones were selling for like over a hundred. So I will definitely be on the lookout for those. I feel like I've passed them up quite a few times at the bins and I'm kicking myself now. April Cornell, this is just a super cute tiered maxi dress. Very cute for spring, summer. It is missing the belt, which is a bummer, but still in great condition. And this one I have up for, I think, $39.99. Excuse me, I'm gonna... There we go. Okay, next is a Lauren Ralph Lauren. This is one of those stretchy like pullover dresses. These are great. I love selling these. I love finding them at the bins. This is the perfect like Christmas color. It's so beautiful and it's a great size, size 16. This I have up for $39.99. Um, this style of dress from Ralph Lauren sells very quickly for me. Um, usually in the 25 to maybe $40 range, but they do sell very consistently. This is a great brand I had not heard of. It's nonchalant. And these are a pair of super high-waisted wide leg pants and a super pretty like rose pink color. These resell for quite a bit. Some people have these listed for I think over a hundred. Um, and there were a few that had sold at that price too, but I have mine at $79.99. I, I just think that that's what they're worth and um, I'm hoping to get somewhere around there. But that style specifically of those pants, they have a name, I can't think of them, but those were the ones that were selling the most from that brand. So I'm not sure how other things do, you know, compared to those. These are a pair of Sundance, just super cute printed kind of jogger pants, size XL. Originally, I had thought these were a pajama bottom, but they are not. They are just a printed kind of jogger. And I have these up for $29.99. Okay, next up is Jean-Paul Gaultier. It's the Junior Gaultier. This is the cutest little Christmas dress. <laughs> How cute is this? It's faux fur, faux leather. But this is a great brand, great designer brand. 
finding this in a women's would have been incredible, but um, this is still amazing and I have it up for 30. Not the best sell through rate for kids stuff, but I'm willing to wait and I'm hoping that it sells for the holiday. I did put Christmas dress in the title, so I'm hoping that helps. Next, we got some vintage Looney Tune. I got two of these guys. Vintage, I think it's 1990, 1997, a 22, 24. So this is like a plus size. It's a Tweety. It says whatever. <laughs> Amazing. The other Tweety one is this one. It says Angel. And on the back, it says not. How cute. Same size, 22, 24. This one is 2001. So stinking cute. Next was a really fun find. I love finding free people at the bins. Even though some of it's not worth picking up, I still just get really excited. This one definitely was worth picking up. It is a floral maxi dress, kind of like a tiered ruffle, so cute. What size is this? I forgot. It is a medium, so great size. Their stuff usually does run oversized, so I would say that this could also fit a large. But this I have up for, I believe, 50, 50 or 60. This is just a really, really pretty dress. Um, exciting find. We are down to the last two. I feel like that went so fast. Um, I feel like, no, I know that quite a few things have sold already. <laughs> so I will post um, little comps at the end of what already sold from this trip to the bins. But yeah, we're already done. I feel like that was so fast. Next is just a Nike Golf pink squirt. Size large, or no, medium, sorry. I just thought that this pink color was really cute. And the Nike Squirts tend to sell pretty well for me. Last, we will end on Eileen Fisher. Newer tag Eileen Fisher, size medium. This is like an organic cotton boxy knit crew neck. It's so cute. I might keep it for myself, I don't know yet. <laughs> I kept this for myself. Um, from my last video, I don't know if you guys remember, but this was the BDG, like, um, that wasn't worth much, maybe like 20 bucks. So I just kept it for myself. <laughs> I love this blue color, but anyways, this I have up for 40. This is a newer style and it is so cute. I love it. One more thing. I also forgot to tell you guys <laughs> that Burberry Brit cardigan that I found that I showed in the cart in the beginning. That sold on auction for 120. Um, yeah, way cool. So I decided to put it on auction because it did have a few flaws. There were a few um, spots in the knitting that was a little bit stretched out or opened. Um, not like super bad, but just a little bit that you could tell it was a little bit um, of a flaw. So those were all noted. I started the auction at 50 and it had, oh my gosh, I think like 30 watchers on it. Um, so yeah, that auction ended at 120. I just sent that out today. Here's my little screenshot. That was a great find. That was the one thing that I was like, okay, this day is not terrible. <laughs> I remember what I forgot to show you guys. So it's the video games that I picked up. I am in no way, shape or form a video game person, but I know that the vintage ones do well. So I found these in a bin that had been picked over. I don't know how these were still there because I feel like, whoa, I feel like people really look for video games. So first one is this Sonic. What year is this? 1999. It doesn't have the um, manual or anything in it, but, and the cases are all pretty cracked. So, but the CDs themselves are in really good condition. The Sonic one, I think I have up for $29.99. This one wasn't, you know, the best find. Um, oh, and I sold two of them already. So I, I picked up five. This one is something I have no idea. <laughs> Um, Soul Reaver, Legacy of Cain. 
also from 1999. So this one I have up for, I think, $39.99. This one also has some cracks to the case, but it has the manual. The disc is good. This is my favorite game, FYI. <laughs> Crazy Taxi, who remembers this? It's the best. This one is also, I think 1999, where is it? Yep, 1999. This is the best game ever, honestly. The case is trashed, but everything's in there and this one doesn't go for as much as I thought it would. I thought this one would be really popular, but I have this one up for 29.99 as well. Selfie rate is not, not the greatest, but I had to, I had to pick it up. Um, I'm going to post the two that have sold. This one was only the case and the manual. There was no disc in this. And I ended up getting, what, 40 or 50 for this without the, without the disc. With the disc, this would have sold for over $100. 150 maybe. Great sell-through rate. So this is a great um, video game to be on the lookout for. I just learned all this when I did the research um and then the next one was this snowboarding one i only got 10 bucks for this but this sold in like a day i think um so yeah i got good feedback on that one so the game works i had no way to test these all i was going off of was if there were scratches on the back so um good news that that game worked but anyways those were the games that i found and i was just really excited about it it's so fun to kind of have those slow days sometimes where you're just wandering through the hard goods trying to learn new items and um you know just broadening your scope a little bit more so that camera bag that i'm gonna hopefully get like 70 80 bucks for that's an awesome new bolo that i have in my mind <laughs> and then the video games obviously i never come across video games but when i do i'm always gonna look them up because you just never know okay that was it that was the end um Yes, I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you for watching. Thank you for hanging out with me. As always, please subscribe below if you are not already and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.